the RX 6800 XT is going to be incredibly fast, but good luck trying to buy one. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So just recently, another benchmark of the RX 6800 XT was posted over on Twitter by leaker Tom Appysack, and it looks like it could potentially be as fast or faster than an RTX 3080 if this turns out to be true. But even if that's the case, will you be able to buy one? Well, let's first go ahead and take a look at those benchmarks, and then I'll give you my thoughts. And as always, there will be a link to my source in the description below, and let's go ahead and shoot for two to 3,000 likes on this video. So taking a look here, we can see that this was done in Ashes of the Singularity, which, you know, that's not necessarily my favorite benchmark, and I don't think it gives you the best idea of where things are going to land, but it can give you kind of a ballpark idea of where graphics cards are going to be, especially if you use the 4K result rather than the 1080p result. But there was a 1080p and 4K result posted here, so let's first take a look at those 1080p results, where if you take a look, you can see that the 6800 XT is actually going to be supposedly 12% faster than the RTX 3070, and it gets roughly the same score as the RTX 3080, with certain models scoring just a little bit higher. And I know a lot of people looking at this are like, well, you know what, the RTX 3080 really shines in 4k so this doesn't really matter take a look at those 4k results okay so let's go ahead and do that and when we do you can see that actually for some bizarre reason here the 6800 xt is actually five percent faster than the rtx 3080 which is very surprising now again i'm not entirely sure how good of a benchmark ashes of the singularity is to use to compare hardware as you do end up with results such as this where the rtx 3080 is apparently beating an rtx 3090 and so i think that might come down to the type of cpu that's being utilized they are using the the uh, 8700K, and it looks like it's potentially at the stock clocks here. There's no overclocking going on whatsoever, which could potentially lead to a somewhat of a uh, CPU bottleneck, even in 4K in some scenarios, as this benchmark does tend to be pretty heavy on that CPU. So again, we'll probably have to wait here just a few more days to get the official benchmarks from all these various sources so we can finally figure out just where the 6800 and 6800XT lands. But I'm guessing that the 6800 will be, you know, roughly 10 to 15% faster than the 3070, based on all the various leaks that we've seen so far, and the 6800 XT will probably be as fast, if not potentially faster, than the RTX 3080, which that makes it a pretty good deal because, you know, even if it's not quite as fast in ray tracing, well, it's $50 less, and you're potentially getting, you know, a little bit more performance, and it's potentially even a little bit more future-proof with that 16 gigabytes of VRAM, or at the very least, you just won't have to worry about your VRAM whatsoever, even over the next couple of years. It just won't really matter because 16 gigabytes is more than enough. Now, that sounds really great, but, you know, it's not really going to matter if you can't get your hands on one. And unfortunately, I have some bad news for you people out there who are hopefully trying to get a card on day one. We'll discuss uh, various ways in which you could potentially do that either way. But it looks like uh, Hardware and Box, my friend Paul from Not an Apple Fan, and Cap Frame X are all reporting extremely low stock for the 6800 and 6800 XT that we'll be launching on the 18th. So, you know, that's really bad to hear as we were all hoping that it would have much better stock than the RTX 3080 as, you know, one of the people over at AMD was on Twitter, you know, confirming this isn't going to be a paper launch, but I have to remind you guys, the RTX 3080 wasn't necessarily a paper launch. I know it's, it kind of might seem like one to you just because here we are like two months later and you still really are having a hard time getting one, but the difference between, you know, not having enough supply and just having a complete paper launch is that a paper launch is when you take a product, like for example, Intel's 10 nanometer chip they put out a while back and I think they put like 50 of them out there in the world and they, they weren't really trying to sell as many of those as possible. Whereas here, they just don't have enough supply. It's not necessarily a paper launch. So with the RTX 3080, again, although they're very hard to find, they are making more and more every single week. And you can, if you're vigilant, you will be able to get them and they will continue to ramp up and you will eventually in the future be able to get quite a bit of them. And hopefully at some point you'll be able to just, you know, log on whenever you want and purchase an RTX 3080. And that's likely going to be the same for Big Navi. So it goes to show you that although he said, yes, it's not going to be a paper launch. I think this was Frank Azor who said this. I could be wrong, but I believe that was who said it. Um, that that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna be able to get one on day one and I've been saying that for quite a while now these reports are mostly coming in of low stock outside of the US so if you are in the US like me you probably will have a slightly better chance as we do end up getting more stock typically on day one but that's you know we'll have to wait and see if that does end up being true this time it could just be a whole worldwide thing where apparently stock uh, especially hardware and box would seem to think that it was going to be potentially as bad as a 3080 or maybe even worse I'm uh, not entirely sure we'll have to wait and see if that is the case 
case. I believe he did say that, though. You know, if that does turn out to be true, again, really unfortunate. But I think there still is a better chance of you getting these big Navi graphics cards than there was to get an RTX 3080. And the reason why I say that is because of a couple different factors. So the first factor would be that there's just a whole lot more cards on the market right now. There's a 3080, 3070, 3090, and now there'll be the 6800 and 6800 XT. That doesn't mean it's going to be easy to get them, but there's so many more options out there and they are coming in stock every now and then and, you know, drips and drabs. So there are other people who are eventually getting the 3080 and 3070s that they wanted. So that means, you know, a little bit less pressure on just, you know, the 6800 and 6800 XT, because if those were the only two cards available right now, yeah, it would be extremely difficult to get your hands on them. So I think that'll make it a little bit easier. And then on top of that, you know, typically the market goes for NVIDIA cards. It, it seems to be that AMD ends up selling about 20% of the discrete graphics market, and then NVIDIA takes about 80%. So there's probably going to be quite a bit less demand than, than there was for the NVIDIA cards. But you got to remember, there's probably a lot of people out there who never got their 3080s or 3070s who got, you know, really mad about it and will be looking for potentially an AMD card who maybe wouldn't have considered it otherwise. So it, it's probably going to be a little bit easier to get these cards, but again, it's still going to be very, very difficult if you're on day one. And honestly, if you're online, you're going to probably be competing with bots and other people who are just F5-ing all day. So if you want to have the best chance of getting them, because, you know, I know they're trying to dissuade bots from coming. They're trying to put up blockers so that bots don't get that many cards, but you can't completely stop them. So I think your best option, if you really want to get a card on day one, is essentially going to be to line up out of a micro center. I know that really sucks. That's something that I can't even do because there's not a micro center near me but if you are near a micro center and you want one on day one you better be you know basically the first 10 people or maybe even 15 people in line because i'm willing to guess that most micro centers in the physical store probably won't have more than like 15 cards on launch day that would just be my guess looking at like the rtx 30 launch uh, maybe your store will be lucky and you'll get more maybe you'll be unlucky and you'll get less it's hard to say but I do have some content planned with the ARC 6800. And to give you a hint, I will probably be making my own custom water cooling block for that card. Uh, I did it with the GTX 1070. I'll probably be doing it with the 6800 because I don't know if the Kraken G12 will fit it. Um, there's not going to be any water cooled units out there for a little while yet. And I, I just don't think I'll be able to get anything. So I'm probably just going to take some copper and, you know, some soldering tools. And we're just going to bang one up together. And we're going to get that 6800 or 6800 XT water cooled as quickly as we can to get some really high overclocks and i'm really looking forward to it so if you're looking forward to content like that make sure you're subscribed and hit that like button as that does help me reach more people but hey that's just what i think what do you think about the rx 6800 and 6800 xc benchmarks and stock let me know your thoughts in the comments below and of course i'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like every time you do so nvidia and intel drop prices also if you want to see more click here you won't be disappointed